Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on this look right here. This is a very warrior princess type of a look. <laughs> I kind of got inspired from the TV show I'm watching right now. It's called The 100 and I love all the different braid styles that they have. So I kind of just turned this into like, I don't know, a very smoky, glittery, glam princess warrior type deal so if you're interested in seeing how to get this then just keep on watching so starting off I'm gonna go in with my Mac soft ochre paint pot this is just gonna prime our eyelids I already have my eyebrows done I have a separate tutorial on that if you guys want to see it but this is just going to help all of our eyeshadows stick. Then jumping into my Wet n Wild palette, I'm taking this really pretty uh, flesh toned sheen shadow and just putting this everything from my lashes to my brow bone. Then I'm going in with this really pretty, almost like a mauve orange color. It's super strange to put it into words, the color that it is, but it's beautiful. I love it. The pigmentation is ridiculous and it blends out so well. Um, so I'm using a flat fluffy brush from Wet n Wild to just buff that into my crease and I'm blowing that out pretty far because I want this to be super smoky and warrior like. And I'm going in with this really pretty plum shadow in the palette on a slightly smaller version of the brush we used before and I'm creating our outer V shape just keeping it inside of that really pretty transition shade we have and again smoking this out as much as possible because I want this to be very dark very dramatic we're not going light on the blending and I want this to extend at least to the edge of my eyebrow or a little bit further because I, like I said I want this to be very warrior like and that's the kind of vibe I want to have now jumping on into my shadow called Dance Party from Morphe, but uh, this is not from Morphe, it's from Colourpop, oh my gosh. But I did dampen my brush a little bit to where this could have it as opaque as I wanted it and very metallic-y. Then I'm going in with my, um, I believe this is L'Oreal eyeliner. I will put it in the description box for you guys, but it is just a black automatic eyeliner just to smudge out in my lash line. It's not my favorite. My favorite one is still the flower one from Walmart, but this one is, I mean, it's decent. It works. And then with my lashes today, I'm using my favorite ones from eBay. And then while those are getting tacky, I'm using my Remote Lash Accelerator Mascara, like always. And then I'm gonna press the two together. Then onto the face. I am using my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. You guys know this is my favorite, and I'm just going to use this to prime all over my face. And then for foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color W1 because I am pale, and this is uh, probably the darkest I will ever be in this foundation line, but it's okay. I'm not bitter about it. I like being pale, so it's all right. <laughs> And I just sped all this up because I like to put all this footage in because it's so satisfying to see what foundation does, but it just takes forever, so I just sped it all up. <laughs> uh. And for concealer today, I'm using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer just to conceal my chin area, my nose, and underneath my eyes. And I'm using this to highlight as well. Um, make sure to keep this away from your shadow that's blended out, and I'm just using it to clean up the outside shape, just blending it into where our eyeshadow meets our concealer to where it's very diffused still. Then going in with my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder, I'm just going to set my under eye area and really pack that underneath there so I don't have any creasing in my concealer and it really helps with my coverage. And I'm using a dry sponge as well for this part. Then for face, I'm using my CoverGirl Loose Powder and this is my favorite if I want to have a matte finish and a little bit extra coverage because we're going for a very flawless look. I am using the little uh, powder puff that it comes with. It's honestly my favorite way to apply powder. I feel like I get such a pretty uh, airbrush look with it. Then going into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, I'm taking that middle shadow on the bottom and I am just going to use this to bronze up my skin to where we have that really uh, defined bone structure. So I'm going in the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and my jawline really wanting to define all of that. 
And then to further chisel out my cheeks, I'm using the one on the farthest left in the palette and I'm using the ashier shade and this is a Moda contouring brush and it's got a slight dip in it so it's really going to chisel out my cheekbones and make my um, face very defined. Then for blush today, I'm using one of them from Physicians Formula. I can't remember the name, but it will be in the description box for you guys. And I am using this because it's got a slight uh, plum shadow to it, so it's going to help tie in to everything. And then I'm getting my highlighting brush slightly wet with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. And I'm using actually an eyeshadow for my highlight today because I want to be super dramatic and dewy. And I love it. You can see this highlighter from space. It's actually an eyeshadow called The Grammy Goes to Glammy from Essence. It is thebomb.com. And I'm highlighting my nose, my chin, my eyebrow bones, my cheekbones, you know, the whole shebang. And then for my lower lashes, I'm going into the plum shadow. And I did line my uh, tight line as well. I don't believe I showed that earlier, but you know, you get the gist. And I'm just going to be smoking out the eyeliner with that plum eyeshadow until it's nice and diffused. And then I'm going in over the corners of that with this really pretty teal shade. And I'm just going to be buffing out that plum color until it's nice and diffused. And then I'm going to drag it a little bit into our transition shade in the outer corner to where it all blends in together. Then jumping into my NYX Glitter Glue, I know, I love this stuff, um, I'm kind of on a glitter kick, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> and I'm using my new favorite glitter um, in the shade Angel from Lick. It is so gorgeous. It's got like a opal iridescence to it with a slight green tint, and I didn't know it was going to do that when I until I put it on my face and it literally just tied this whole look together. I don't know where this look would be without this glitter. You need it in your life. You can put it on your face as a highlighter, on your eyes. It's amazing. And then I'm going in with my Lick Matte uh, Lip Paint in the shade Cashmere. Also love this. This will not come off ever. So I wear this whenever I'm going to be working a long day. Also, this stuff is from the company Lick that I am an ambassador for, so I will have a description box code for you, and that's for 20% off of everything that you buy from their website. So make sure you use that when you order because you cannot get this stuff in stores, um, and it's my favorite. But anyway, that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I figured this would also be something fun if you wanted to do it for like Halloween or something. Um, it's not super difficult to do, but it's very dramatic and sparkly and glam, and I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'll probably be wearing this for like a week. <laughs> I will have the list of all the products in the description box for you guys, as well as links to the ones I can find. And then I will also have all of the links to my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links are in the description box for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.